Hello everyone, this is Hank. I'm back for another episode. Today we are going to talk about Canon EOS RP autofocus method in operation. This will be one out of maybe two or three videos that I will talk about the RP autofocus features. Today we are going to start from the beginning. Consider it's a primer. We are going to talk about methods and operation of autofocus today. Okay. So first of all, let's focus on what we want to talk about. Pun intended. Is that you want to go to shoot seven, which is the seventh menu of the red tab. Okay, as you can see that the first choice is the AF operation, which varies between one shot and servo. And later in this video, we will discuss the fundamental difference between the two. Okay, then we have AF methods. RP has six different methods, starting out with the face plus tracking. Okay, and then you have a spot, the one point, one point with four surrounding area, they call it expand the AF area. One point with eight surrounding points, they call it expand AF area around. And then you have the zone AF. Okay, six choices. Now, face plus tracking, as the name suggests, that is going to track the face. And if you want to, you can enable the eye detection and it will also detect the eye. Now, face plus tracking is the only method in the RP that will detect the eye. Okay. Now, regarding detecting the face, there are two methods within the six that will do that. One, obviously, is the face plus tracking. The other one would be the zone AF. Now, this one, this one, this one, this one, these four do not detect the face or the eye at all. Okay? So, with that, I would choose the face plus tracking with one shot operation to start out with. And let's go to the menu item and I will show you the different method. Okay, so start out with face plus tracking. For this example, there's no human face, okay? The RP only detect human face, not animals' faces. Okay, so there's no human face here, so obviously you don't know what it's going to do. So the first thing you do is you press the AF button and it will focus on something which in this case the butterfly wing. Now why does it do that? Why doesn't it focus on something else? And that would be a very good question. The, the basis of the Canon autofocus system is that it will favor things that are close closer to the camera. So basically it will pick the nearest object and if there's multiple nearest object, it will choose the one with the highest contrast. That is where it's going to focus on. So this is a flat picture I'm using. And so the butterfly wing appear to be the closest as well as the most contrasty. So therefore, it makes sense that this thing will focus there. Okay. Now, if you desire to focus on something behind something else and the closer object happen to have adequate contrast then don't be surprised that the camera by design is going to focus on the one in front and not the one you want. Now in case you want to choose the one you want you have two ways. One is that if you enable the touch focus AF, then you can just touch on where you want it to focus and it will focus. 
and if you can't um, touch and then you can use the focus uh, selection button which look like a window uh, in the back of the camera below the star button you can press that and then you can move it uh, to where you want to focus but I recommend it that you just touch it on the screen where you want it to focus so that's the quickest way okay so now so what good is a face plus tracking then you know if you have to do all of that so what is good about it is when you're dealing with people okay so in this example all right um, as you can see that it grabbed the face first and then it grabbed the eye very quickly afterwards you can see that if you press the info button you will enable or disable the eye detection okay so like if I focus immediately it will pick an eye Okay, I have a separate video that shows you how to switch between uh, eyes and between faces if you have multiple people. So if you care to find out how to do it, uh, please look it up um, in one of my videos I already have. I'm not going to talk about that here now for the interest of time. Okay, so it excels. Face plus tracking excels when it detect the person's face and eyes okay all right so let's switch back to the non-human picture okay so for whatever reason you can always switch method okay so you can switch to a spot spot is a very small area and of course you can touch it or you can press that focus button selection and move it okay now a small spot like this uh, takes time for you to move it to the right area so if if you don't care too much about accuracy you can also choose one point which is similar except it's bigger so it's easier for you to choose the area but it's not precise right or you can also use the one point plus the four surrounding it's even easier and this eight point is even easier and this is my favorite for shooting moving objects and I use this mode to do it okay, because it's, it's a lot easier to move and track the target um, and you don't have to be completely very precise to do it of course uh, you can also choose a zone AF which is kind of a strange choice you know it's like a, a, a square box not that much bigger than the other ones and it will focus only within that box okay so you can of course move the box around same method but um, now just keep in mind that I think I mentioned it but for what it's worth this will detect a human face but not always though you know let's try the human face and see if it will detect that or not I find it to be fairly unreliable because you can see that it does it. Okay. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, in theory, it will detect the human face, but in this case, it doesn't do it. Okay. So the only sure thing is face plus tracking. Okay. Which is my favorite anyway. Now, the problem is that if you don't have a human face, um, and then, you know, you have to do something different as I had shown you okay so now we've already kind of talked a lot about the AF methods switching um, among the six choices that we have now let's uh, talk about the AF operation one shot as you can see you have a choice between one shot and servo 
And I, I will first talk about one shot. Um, and then servo. And um, I'm going to switch over to this example again. Okay. Um, now, um, right now, Okay, this thing, okay, it's back. Uh, before I went to show you, the box is kind of going into the, the the tracking mode instead of a face detect mode. Now I'll switch over to face detect again. Okay, so now what uh, what we are going to do is like, okay, normally um, if you press the shutter uh, button to focus, right, and it focuses to where you want, and you press a button. Okay, so that is a lot of people just simply use the the one shot mode for that. Just focus, press a button, and they're done. Okay, now if you do it like that, you might as well just switch over the servo and do the same thing. Okay, then one shot and servo operate identically. Both will focus it for you, allow you to take a picture, you're happy. Okay, but the real main difference comes when you use it differently, and I'll show you the proper way to do it and, and set them apart. Okay, first let me go back to one shot. Okay. So now, I focus, okay, um, and it did a very poor choice, now is a better choice. So now, I focus on the butterfly, I'm happy, except that I want to recompose it because I, for the sake of example, I don't like the way it is right now, so I'm deciding that I'm going to move over here. Now, as long as I press and hold the, the button, right, the focus button, I don't let go, okay, it will lock the focus where it focuses here, right? Here, let me do it again. Okay, for example, here, I keep holding it down, I move it over here. The focus is still back there. It locks the focus. Now, it allows me to take a picture without re focusing in the back there. Okay, so doing one shot by holding it down once you establish focus will allow you to focus and recompose. And the focus is locked where you initially focus it. So I hope that makes sense. It's very important. Now, okay, I'm switching to servo. Okay. Now I focus, and in servo it's important that servo you you press the focus button and hold it and don't let go. First you establish initial focus, right? Okay, so now as you move or as the subject that you focus move, guess what? The camera is continually tracking it as long as the object remains in view of the of the camera it will track that y you see what it's doing it's tracking the butterfly no matter where the butterfly flies to or no matter where I move the camera it will continue to track and focus on that okay so that's a fundamental difference so this servo mode is very useful Imagine that the butterfly is moving and not my camera. The effect is the same. Okay, the camera locks on to the the butterfly. So when you are tracking flying birds and stuff like that, and you use this method, sometimes it messed up like that and you have to let go and uh, try it again. So now it switch over to a different mode, which is a tracking mode. Um, I forgot how to reset that. Um, 
not sure. Okay, so now now it's kind of locked into this weird mode. Okay, so now it thinks that it's focusing on that. So same same effect. Now it it, it locks its focus there as long as I keep holding it down. Okay, it had switch focus on me. Okay, so the face plus tracking is kind of dangerous because you can't really control what you want. So normally when I take a picture of this thing, I would switch over to, like say, a, a, a one point with eight assists and then I can track the bird or the moving object that way. But you get the idea the the, the main difference between a one shot and servo is one shot, it locks the focus in one spot and then allow you to focus and recompose, right? And whereas servo once it lock focus, it'll keep tracking that one that is locked, no matter if that object moves away or your camera moves away, as long as it's still within view, it'll lock on that target. So I hope that makes sense. And with that, I think we've already covered the basis of the AF methods, six methods, and the AF operation, which is one shot or servo. Okay? Thank you very much. I would appreciate a like from you if you haven't. I also appreciate a subscription. Thank you. Bye-bye.